overhanging beam abc is loaded as shown in the diagram determine deflection at point c maximum deflection between a and b this is the question of overhanging beam in the diagram at point a and b fixed supports are given and at the free end that is at point c the load 14.9 kN is acting in downward direction now due to this fixed supports we will show the reaction at these points acting in vertically upward direction and the magnitude of these reactions is not mentioned in the question and we have to find out these reactions r a and r b so first we will show here r a and next is r b now from the diagram we will take the summation of moments of all the forces about point a is equal to 0 so how we will write summation of moment of all forces that is summation of m about point a is equal to 0 now this is the center now if we observe the load rb then it is acting in upward direction so if i move the compass about point a in the upward direction then the direction is anti clockwise direction so we will show here this is the anti clockwise direction now for this anti clockwise direction we will consider as a negative sign so how to write the moment that is rb minus rb multiplied by this distance so minus 4 rb minus 4 rb now next load is 14.9 kN now center is a so if i move the compass in the direction of 14.9 kN about the center a then this is in the clockwise direction so we will use here positive sign so how to take the bending moment 14.9 multiplied by total distance 4 plus 2 plus 14.9 multiplied by 6 is equal to 0 so there is only one unknown term that is rb so i will write here 90 is equal to 4 rb and therefore rb is equal to 22.5 kN so this is the value of rb now if we observe we have to find out ra so we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0 so r a and r b in vertically upward direction so we will use positive sign so r a plus r b minus 14.9 is equal to 0 therefore r a is equal to so we will transfer these two terms to the right hand side so it is minus 22.5 plus 14.9 so it is approximately equal to minus 7.5 kN now if we observe we have considered r a in vertically upward direction but r a is having negative sign that means in free body diagram we have to show this r a in the opposite direction because of this negative sign so i will show the r a in the downward direction now if we take the downward direction then this magnitude will become positive because direction is opposite so 7.5 kN now we will show rb so rb in vertically upward direction with positive magnitude so i will show here rb 22.5 kN so this is the free body diagram now we have to apply the macaulay's method and in macaulay's method we have to consider any section xx at a distance x from this end a so i will show here the section xx and this is the distance small x now why to take this section xx so when we are going to use macaulay's method then we have to take the bending moment of all these points load about the section xx now 
to find out the bending moment we have to first find out the distance of these point loads from the section xx so we will consider the forces which are on the left hand side of this section so this is the first force so for this force the distance from xx is small x then the second force is 22.5 kN so what is the distance in between this point B and this section XX so we will observe this diagram so here from this section XX to A distance is X and A to B is 4 so remaining distance is X minus 4 now we will apply Macaulay's method the path between first two point load is the first part so we will mention this first part and the part in between the next two point load is the second part so this part bc is the second part now to apply the macaulay's method we will first write the left hand side so left hand side is ei d square y by dx square now on the right hand side we will take the bending moment at the section xx so here is the first point load 7.5 kN. Now if we, I move the compass at the center x and 7.5 kN then here is the anti-clockwise direction. So for the Now if we observe this point A is the part of the first part so here this is the first part is getting completed and this point B is at the second part. So for this first part getting completed we will draw one vertical line. Now we will move to the next so next point load is 22.5 kN. So if I move the compass in the direction of this force then here is the clockwise direction and we will use the positive sign. So how to write the bending moment plus 22.5 multiplied by the distance x minus 4. Now we will take integration on both sides. So first ei dy by dx so this is the integration on the left hand side. is equal to now if we observe here there are two terms in the form of x this is x and this is x minus 4 now we will apply the rule integration of x raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 now for this x there is the n is equal to 1 because x raised to 1 so minus 7.5 will remain as it is so for x raised to 1 we will write x square by 2. Now we have to take the constant of integration and this is always we have to mention in the first part. So plus c1. Now this first part is getting completed. Now we will move to the second part. So here x minus 4 whole term is there and bracket raised to 1. So plus 22.5 as it is x minus 4 n is equal to 1 so here x square by so the x minus 4 square by 2 so this is the first integration now we will apply the second integration so again integration on both the sides so here e i y is equal to now minus 7.5 by 2 will remain same as it is now x square this time n is equal to 2 so i will write here x cube by 3 plus here is c1 so c1 x plus c2 and now this first part is getting completed so c2 is constant of integration for the second time integration so this is the second time integration so this is again we have to consider this constant now next we have to take plus 22.5 by 2 so this is constant term now here x minus 4 bracket square so n is equal to 2 so x minus 4 bracket cube by 3 
so this is the second time integration is getting completed now if we observe this is the equation in the form of dy by dx so when we find out the value of c1 then this equation will be known as a slope equation and this is the equation in the form of y so when we find the value of c1 and c2 then this will be the deflection equation now how to find out the values of c1 and c2 for that we have to apply the boundary conditions now if we observe this is the point a and this is the point b and these are the fixed point that is fixed supports are given so at this points value of y is equal to 0 that means there is no any deflection so y is equal to 0 at point a as well as at point b now at point a value of x is equal to 0 and at point b value of x is equal to 4 meter now this is the boundary conditions now if when we apply the boundary conditions at point a then we have to consider the first part only because this point a is in the first part and when we apply the boundary conditions at b then we have to consider the first two parts because b is the b is the in the second part so we will apply the boundary conditions to this equation so i will take x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so we have to consider only first part because this point a is in the first part so this is this term will become 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 and therefore c2 is equal to 0 now we will apply the second condition that is x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0 so this time we have to take first two parts because point b is in the second part so on the left hand side it is 0 then minus 7.5 by 6 x cube that is 4 cube plus 4 c1 plus c2 is 0 so we will write 0 as it is then plus 22.5 by 6 x minus 4 that is this 4 minus 4 that is 0 cube so this whole term will become 0 so we have to solve only this we get the value of c1 as a 20 and c2 is 0 so we will put in the equation of dy by dx and we will get the slope equation so this is the slope equation and when we put the value of c1 and c2 in the equation of y then we will get the deflection equation so this is the deflection equation now the question is we have to find out deflection at point c if we observe the point c is the point in the second part so when to calculate the deflection at point c we have to put value of x is equal to 6 meter and we have to put the value of x is equal to 6 meter in this deflection equation and we have to consider these two parts because the point c is in the second part so i will write here ei instead of y we will write yc because this is the deflection at point c and instead of x we will put 6 so when we calculate this then we will get yc is equal to minus 0.025 meter now because of this negative sign we can say that deflection is in the downward direction so i will show the deflection at point c that is known as yc which is in the downward direction and its a magnitude is 0.025 meter and this is known as yc we have to find out maximum deflection between a and b if we observe the deflection between a and b that means we have to calculate deflection which is in the first part so we have to show dy by dx is equal to 0 because we know that at maximum deflection slope is equal to 0 so when we put this value 0 then we have to consider only first part to find out the value of x because this maximum deflection is in the first part so i will show this so when we put dy by dx is equal to 0 then this left hand side will become 0 is equal to 
माइनस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव बाय टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेंटी नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो आई विल ट्रांसफर दिस ट्वेंटी टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो माइनस ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू बिकॉज दिस टू आई विल ट्रांसफर टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एक्स स्क्वेर सो दिस माइनस माइनस साइन इज गेटिंग कैंसल्ड and x square is equal to forty and therefore x is equal to under root of forty forty uh, by seven point seven point five sorry here seven point five we have to take so under root of this forty by seven point five is equal to two point thirty one meter so this is the distance x at which there is maximum deflection so we know that at x is equal to 0 at point a x is equal to 0 at point b x is equal to 4 so i will show here the distance 2.31 meter 2.31 meter so at this point there is maximum deflection so i will extend this point in the downward diagram so at this point there is maximum deflection so what is the value of this deflection that means we have to find out the value of y at a distance x is equal to 2.31 meter so instead of y we will write y max so i will write here e i y max is equal to now instead of x we have to consider 2.31 meter and this maximum deflection is in the first part so we will consider first part only so minus 7.5 by 6 into 2.31 cube plus 20 into 2.31 so we have to calculate this and y max is equal to so ei that means the term which is in the denominator so we have to write this term 100 into 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 48 into 10 raised to minus 6 so when we solve this then we will get the value of y max when we calculate the value of y maximum then it is 0.0064 meter so we have to show this now it is having positive sign that means the deflection is in the upward direction so i will show here so this is the y max now we will draw the curve so we know that at point a and at point b deflection is equal to 0 now we will connect the points and at point c the deflection is we have calculated so in this way this overhanging beam is getting deflected